just a quickie just a quickie live stream um you might you might not see it live but you might see it later because i'm just promised that i'll show you sewing the back of my binding binding even so i've been sewing it along i'm on the last row i'm on the last edge now so i've got most of it most of it done but before i finish i wanted to show you this so i have been sewing and i'm actually going to start by showing you how i tie tie it off rather than doing a knot so this is how i finish up so i'm going to finish this one up and then i'm going to do a new thread to show the next bit so i've got my my um thread is sort of at is on the dregs and what i do is so i'm going to do three stitches sort of one on top of the other so that's one two you don't have to do it this way but this is just how I how I do it and I'm gonna take one stitch this is about the size of the stitches that I do between each one you can maybe see them there's one there one there one there so I'll just do it like I'm doing another stitch pull that tight <gasps> don't lose my thread and then I'm gonna do the same thing so basically do three times three stitches on top of each other and that secures it all in and then I don't have to tie a knot and I don't have to worry about them coming undone. And then that's the third stitch. And then this is the last of the three. So that's one. Two. I'll do three and I'll, it'll be four altogether. So that's three. And then I'm going to put it in that hole, same hole I've been going through. And then I'm taking a sort of going through the wadding, uh, making sure you don't see it on this side, but going in between the backing and the wadding. And then I'm going to pull that out. So there's a little tail there. And then Diana says, This is a nice oh. surprise. Hi, Hello Diana. and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah, happy Sunday. So I'm just hiding that tail underneath. So I've got my needle in my newt, my moose. And there. So now I'm ready to start another lot of thread. And this is the thread I use. Uh, I'm using grey. But this is Gutemann, um quilting, quilting thread. Uh, 200, this is a 200 metre ro roll. Um... Yeah, it doesn't say anything else, so it's Gutemann uh, quilting thread, and it's nice and strong, and I, this is for hand quilting as well. I just need to find the end, where it is. So I'm going to get a nice new length of thread off. So again, about, it's about half a metre's worth. There we go, so just a single thread. So this is the end of the thread that I have cut off the roll. This is the, the beginning end. And I always pull it through and make a knot in the end that I've just cut. So you can just roll it between your fingers and make a knot. Might do that a bit bigger. It ended up a bit skinny. There we go. And then I want to hide that. So inside my binding, I'm going to put a needle in here, bring it up about the same width that I've been doing, just on this side of my, that's where my binding was sewn on, on the other side. So if I do that, then I can hide the knot inside the, the binding there. Up a little stitch and there we go and then I just continue until I get to the end of the thread and then do my securing stitches again and that is it you just got to be careful especially if you're sewing over where the, the quilting is 
just make sure just have a peek on the other side that you don't see your needle you don't not going to see that thread on the other side and that's it I'll take these off as I go yeah and you you can do them closer together but again I do them roughly about half an inch apart make sure there's nothing on that side there we go so I'll leave it there I'll continue let you guys get back to your Sunday uh, if I get to a corner I'll um, see if I can show you how how I do the corner because that'll be the last corner and then it'll be done so yeah so thanks for joining and see you later bye Bye now.